Hello, my name is Dr. Diwan S. Raja. I will discuss about chronic granulomatous disease today. This is a rare hereditary disorder where the neutrophil can phagocytose the bacteria but cannot kill the bacteria. There is deficient activity of one of the enzymes involved in NADPH oxidase activity and the oxidative rust. Rapid production of hydrogen peroxide is impaired in phagocytosis. Bacteria are protected, death of neutrophil occurs within few days and there will be release of bacteria. There is mutation in genes encoding components of phagocytic oxidase enzyme, most often the cytochrome B558 mutation. So, what are the features of chronic granulomatous disease? Characterized by recurrent intracellular bacterial gram-positive, gram-negative, bacteria like Staphylococcus aureus gram-positive, gram-negative like that of Pseudomonas erythrinosa, and also there will be fungal infection that is also possible and this is a X-linked disorder. Autosomal recessive variant is also present, so it is mostly X-linked disorder. So, male person should suffer, female should be the carrier, but it may happen both male and female. Autosomal recessive variant is also present. If the X linked disorder, the carrier female may have minor skin infection and has two sets of neutrophil, one set is defective, another set is normal. Okay, we are seeing a lot of skin infection. There may be infection in the bone, in the liver, in the spleen. There will be enlarged lymph node, or okay, can a lot of bomb. These are all chronic granulomatous masses, okay, a lot of masses like that. And they are here, there is phagocytosis occur. Neutrophil cannot phagocytose, but macrophage come into place, so there will be formation of granuloma. With plenty of macrophages, but as a whole, macrophages are also defective, and so there will be chronic granulomatous mass will continue to grow. Outcome is bad. We have multiple abscesses and chronic inflammatory mass in the skin, and this mass is rich in macrophages because neutrophil is inactive. Then the macrophages come into the place to form the granuloma. In the skin, bone, lungs, gingiva, there may be gingivitis. Spleen and liver may have also abscess and chronic, chronic inflammatory granulomatous mass. There will be, there are also enlarged lymph node. There is called lymph adenopathy. Diagnosis, certainly complete blood count, chest x-ray bone scan, chest x-ray there may be chance of pneumonia, bone scan there may be chance of osteomyelitis, flow cytometry test, nitroblue tetrajolium test, cytochrome C reductase assay. Treatment, antibiotic, maybe trimethoprim, sulfamethoxazole combination or any other sensitive antibiotic, immunomodulation by interferon, bone marrow transplantation, gene therapy because we have the cytochrome enzyme deficiency, so we need the gene therapy. And that's all about the chronic granulomatous disease. If you have any question, please feel free to ask me. Please share the information with your friends and please support my channel please subscribe me have a nice day bye now